wonder how a Hawaii street got its name or maybe the origins of a particular plant you see growing in your backyard? Well, every Thursday we have our Aloha Authentic segment to bring awareness to Hawaii's culture. Here now is Kamaka Pili with this week's segment. Aloha mai, it's Kamaka Pili, continuing to go holo holo around our island of Oahu to share with you our moku, our large land divisions that reside here with the hopes that we start to use traditional names to our places in this contemporary world. If you look behind me, this backdrop, look at my hand, guys, because I ain't going to fuzz out. This ain't no green screen. <laughs> this is truly a blessing to still have this type of aina here on our island of Oahu. When we think Oahu, we think concrete jungle. So to know this type of vegetation still exists here for our native Hawaiian community, for our island residents, we really need to malama and take care of this. We're standing in the moku of Waialua, and it covers the majority of the northern portion of our island, butted up against three other moku. We have Waianai, Wahiawa, and Ko'olauloa. Now, within this moku starts one side, the most western point, known as Ka'ena, or Ka'ena Point, and it goes east to the Ahupua, known as Waimea. If you know our Waimea Valley or Waimea Bay is where everybody jumps off the rock, there you go. So, did you know? Now you do. <laughs> and joining us now with more on this particular moku is Kamaka Pili. Good morning again. Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. So what ahupua'a fall within this particular moku? So within this, so I know last week or a couple weeks ago, I, I mentioned that there are different um, resources or that there's different people who may share differently, mm -hmm. um, are, are different stories. So I just want to share that the names that and the, and the screen that we're showing now is from Kamehameha Schools, which share a lot more ahupua'a within this moku. Um, if I go to this and I show you this book, Sites of Oahu, this is kind of what I've been using. Um, so. I know on our screen I set up to Waimea, but if you look at this Kamehameha Schools map, Waimea mm -hmm. is actually not part of this Ahupua'a. So again, just keeping an open book that different traditions, different sources may share a little bit differently. But the names within this moku, according to Kamehameha, starting with Ka'ena Point, and then Kealia, Kawaihapai, Kikahi, Aukuu, Mokulea, Kamananui, Paala'a, Kawailoa, Lauhulu, Kuikui Loloa, Punanue, and Kapai Loa. But of course, in our video, we had also mentioned Waimea. So when we talk about Moku and Ahupua'a, we're basically talking about a district and kind Correct. of maybe like districts within that district. Correct. And that's why we still see um, names that are familiar today, like Mokulea and Ka'ena Point. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And I know, especially when we talk about Wailua, a lot of people go straight to Haleiwa, right. which Haleiwa actually is a modern town or a name that was created by the missionaries who created their missionary school in that area. So. Um, also, and, and I'm glad that you pointed out, even within the Ahupua'a, mm -hmm. traditionally they had even broken up those lands into smaller sections called Ili and even so forth. So I don't know those, so I'm not going to share that okay, with you. Okay, <laughs> so how is this Wailua different? So Wailua, I mean, if we just go holo holo ourselves to go around the island, we'll see every moku, um, different parts of our island hold different characteristics. Mm -hmm. Wailua, of course, has probably, in my opinion, the most undeveloped land. It holds more the country feeling. Mm. And even with my tutu, who's um, my great-grandmother, great tutu in Hawaiian refers to your great-grandparent. Um, I always brag about her. She turns 102 next, next week, actually. And she's actually from Wailua. So listening to the different stories of her being born and raised in this area, compared to me being born and raised in Kailua, mm -hmm. there's a whole dramatic difference to the landscape and just the culture within the area. Back then, but even now even as now. well, too, yeah. right? So even to go see how, how much country it still preserves, it's, it's a beautiful sight to see. Mm -hmm. And where else can people find more information? Well, of course, if you want to find out more, this website is actually very accessible online. Just type in Kamehameha Schools Ahupua'a map. But if you want to find out more inter inter interesting information from Aloha Authentic, go to alohaauthentic.org. All right. Thank you very much, Kamako, for Mahalo being here and showing, sharing your knowledge with Mahalo. us. Learn something every week with you. Thank you so much.